Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am really excited to get back into making some new videos. I have been out of the country for quite a bit. I'm really excited to be back, and I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who stuck around while I was gone. I really appreciate it, and I'm excited to get into a brand new playthrough of Timberborn. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, as I said, I was out of the country for a while uh, working and unfortunately could not bring the gaming PC with me to make content. But that being said, I am back now. I'm excited to get back into this playthrough. So we are going to start a new playthrough of Timberborn on update five. Update five has made a lot of really good changes um, that just make the game you know, super interesting and they're just continuing to expand on this game, which I love. So we're going to get into a new game. We're going to play as the Iron Teeth. And I'm thinking that we're going to play on Helix Mountain. It's a really interesting map. Um, and as you can see, we've got the bad water being introduced. We're going to play on normal difficulty. And let's get into this. So I think that this is going to be a good, uh, a good playthrough to start out on. You know, it's a game that we're all familiar with. Uh, it's a game that I'm comfortable with. Uh, making videos on. I, I think I know that the series would do fairly well. Um, let's just, we'll make this save 100. Not that I have 100 saves, but, you know, we'll pause real quick. Anyway, if you guys have games you want me to check out and, you know, series that you want me to do, just let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to uh, kind of start to do some, some new series. Anyway, so this is our starting colony here. As always, I'm going to need names for these district centers. So this will kind of inevitably be our capital, um, capital city. So give a leave a name in the comment. So this is a really nice starting area. We've got uh, pretty good supplies of wood. We've even got some oaks over here if we can make a uh, dam across here. We've got some berries, which are going to be extremely useful um, for the iron teeth, which use them for uh, reproduction in their breeding pods. And then you can see that the water, it spirals all the way up this, uh, this I don't know what you want to call it, hill hilltop. Um, and it originates from here. Now, with update five, we got the introduction of bad water. So you'll see these bad water sources across the map. And this is actually toxic uh, for the beavers. So we want to do our best to uh, you know, stay away from that when possible, but at the same time, it's actually useful. Um, they've, they've changed the mechanics of the game, so it's actually used to produce things. So let's go through a quick uh, quick update of our, of our UI, just for anybody who may be new to the game. So in the top left, we've kind of got our resources and our beaver information. So right now, eight adults and four children. 12 homeless and six unemployed. You can get the info just by hovering over the line that you're interested in. From left to right here, we've got our, our beaver info, a little bit more in-depth, and then our well-being. We'll come back to both of those. We've got science. So if we go into maybe landscaping, you'll see that to unlock the levee, has that little lock symbol, requires 120 science to unlock. So that's our science. We've got our materials and our ingredients. So these are both going to be um, both intermediate um, and I guess end product goods uh, that will be used in some various way. They're not directly consumed by the beavers. There are a couple that I think are like books technically I think are directly um, consumed, but we'll get to that. Food. So we've got a stock of 130 berries that's not going to last us very long. Um, wood, which is used to construct things early on, and actually throughout the game too, uh, and then water. In the top right, we've got our time controls, so we've currently got them on a 16-hour working day. Um, we've got our layers, which kind of help you build later on, we'll see that later. And then we've got kind of our, our weather predictions, so no drought, incoming, nothing like that. And then down at the bottom, we've got our, our main, I guess, gameplay UI, where, you know, you can... You kind of got your your resource management over here so like cutting trees planting crops and then you've got all your building tabs here so we will uh we will get into these as we go so why don't we start out by 
putting down some roads. Actually, I'm going to start out by putting down a water pump. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're going to end up putting a dam across here. It's kind of the shortest distance um, that we've got so far. So I think we're going to have a water pump right about here. And then why don't we go ahead and actually put that, that dam in. So obviously dam is in landscaping right here. And then the water pump was in the water tab. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to run a path right across here. It actually lines up with our... Um, home district really well, so I like that. And then we're gonna have to connect up that water pump. And I think, you know, we could probably, yeah, we're gonna get two more water pumps right here. And that will actually keep us going for quite a while. So we just kind of need to keep in mind that we're gonna reserve this space. Um, I actually might just put that path over there so I remember. And then I'm gonna wrap this road around this facility here. like so, um, just so that we can maintain, I don't want this road kind of running off like that, um, because this is all growable area. All this green space is growable. So we don't want, uh, we don't want to completely eat into that. Um, and I think we'll run, we'll run a little path over here and then I'll run a path over here and then we'll just go ahead and connect that up. So this allows us to use these stairs that we've got early game, which I think is really good. We're going to run a path just kind of over there so we can get to that wood. And why don't we start out by getting a couple lumberjacks here and then let's see, can these reach all the way up there? No, not quite. All right. So then in that case, let's just get uh, maybe just a couple right there. And then we'll probably come in here, we'll get a large industrial pile here to store logs. So that was in storage and the lumberjacks were in the wood tab. So this is going to allow them to uh, store some logs, which I think will be really good. So let's see, we're going to get water. Um, similarly in the storage tab, I think we're going to want a couple water storage uh, tanks. That'll be good. Maybe two of them to start and then... What else we're we gonna need? We're gonna need food. So why don't we get um, a gathering flag just right in here to pick up these berries. But then we're not gonna eat the berries. At least we're gonna try not to. So why don't we get, I'm just gonna template two farmhouses for now. I think that'll be good. And then we can start to plant some crops, um, you know, in, in both of these, in both of these areas, which I think will be good. Okay, so I think that that is pretty good. Now the question is, if we think about this, this dam is going to hold the water on this side. So it might actually be better to plant crops over here in this green area as opposed to over here. Yeah, I mean, obviously later on, I plan to get a uh, some kind of a dam to keep this area green. But I think for now, why don't we come in here and we'll just we'll put, throw down two farms right there so we can plant some crops over here. And I think that that'll be good. Yeah, this will give us a good, good amount of crops to start. Okay, so I think that that's good. So before we get going, we're going to go into our assigned priorities and we're going to tell them what to build first. So our highest priorities to start off are going to be these lumberjacks. And then, yeah, I guess the gatherer too. Um, medium high priority, I'm going to put as the, the water situation. We'll leave the dam where it is for now. I am going to put one of the farmhouses on super low, um, as well as, do I want these on? Oh, I guess we'll, I guess we'll get those built. We'll let them go and then we'll, we'll kind of adjust. We are going to need to max out our builders here. I'm going to put them on moderately low working priority. Um, just so that, like for instance, our water pump, this is always going to be highest priority. So the way that that's going to essentially work, we can go into maximum speed and let them get started on this. The way that that's essentially going to work is, oh, and we need to pause because we forgot to mark our cutting area. So we'll go into cutting and we'll mark these trees to be cut. And then we will do the same here. So let's get those marked. 
these ones, and then all of those, and then we'll just go ahead and remove that. Okay, so now they'll start to uh, cut some logs down, which is good. But as I was saying, so with these on moderately low priority, and the water pump, for instance, on highest priority, if we start to run out, so you can actually see this right now, we have one vacant job, and that's going to be one of our builders. Now we have two. Um, because essentially what it's doing is it's saying, okay, um, we don't have enough beavers to fill all of our jobs. So what do we want to fill first? And obviously our water pumps will be filled, filled first. And then also our farmers will be filled um, pretty quickly. So why don't we get, let's get one of the farms built. And then let's put this whole dam on uh, medium high priority. I think that'll be good. I'm going to actually put one of those on just moderate priority. So kind of uh, working on some of this stuff. Let's get some crops planted. We're going to plant kohlrabi to start. Um, and I think we'll just kind of plant like that to start out. And I'm actually not going to plant here because that's going to be more little water storage tanks. But okay, so now we have three vacant jobs here. Um, I am going to go ahead, I'm going to pause one of these lumberjacks so we can get another builder. And then I'm going to pause one of these berry producers just for just for a minute, um, just so that we can kind of uh, keep going on our jobs, getting our building done. Okay, so we have a water tank that is almost complete and then we're going to have to get this dam done. Now, I think we're going to be pretty okay for wood in order to get this done. So I'm actually going to prioritize this large industrial pile so that they can start to consolidate the logs down here. I think that'll be good. And then we can get this, uh, this water storage done. And now they're going to really start to work on the dam, which is good. We're really going to need that dam. By the time the first drought comes, you really want to have... Excuse me. By the time the first drought comes, you really want to have uh, a, a dam set up. Um, I am going to pause the um, farmhouse just for the time Hello, being, buddy. as well as this other lumberjack, because there's no more wood to cut over here. And why don't we unpause the gatherer? Um, there's just really no reason to have this this farmhouse running because there's these are going to take another about a day and a half to uh, to get to the point where we can harvest them, which will be good, and then we can start to get some food, and we are going to be kind of off to the off to the proverbial races with uh, what we're trying to get done. You can see we're starting to get this dam built. That's going to be really good. One thing that we're going to need to do, let's get a couple breeding pods in there. Maybe three of them. Three of them to start. And the breeding pods consume water and berries to, uh, to produce beavers. And I know that that kind of sounds a little odd. Uh, it's just the, it's the way that the, uh, that the iron teeth reproduce it's kind of uh, it's kind of funny but you know it's just it's just the way that they do it all right so we got two water storages here our water is trending up um but as our population grows one water pump it's just not going to be enough i think two would keep us going for for quite a bit um so why don't we get a second one of those templated out um we can go ahead, we can put that on moderately low priority. I do want them to just continue building this dam. That will be good. All right, so we have three unemployed beavers, so might as well get a couple of these up and running, and then we can actually start to harvest um, the kohlrabi, which will be good. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. We are coming along. We're getting our dam built. You can actually see that it's kind of focusing the water here, um, which is good. Now, 
one thing that we're going to have to think about is kind of what what is going to be our priority in terms of you know tech progression i guess if you want to uh if you want to think about it like that um i'm trying to see yeah, i don't really have a good way of getting getting a road around there so i'm actually going to ask them to clear away that tree it's nowhere near being ready to, to harvest, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. Just that I can run this path in here and hopefully get a couple more lumberjacks. So why don't we get that up there? And then are these gonna reach the whole way? Yeah, so two there would, would reach the whole way. Okay, so that's gonna be good. All right, so we've got our first uh, couple breeding pods up and running. This one's waiting on berries, um, which we do have. This one's waiting on nothing. So this one is actually, you can see the breeding progress here is advancing. Um, so that's going to be really good. Our dam is actually almost done. And then we'll actually be able to come over here and harvest these oaks, which is going to be really good. So why don't we mark these oaks? for cutting, and then are these oaks as well? They are. So why don't we run a path over here, up to these stairs, over like this, and then we can actually get a couple lumberjacks up here as well, and they can cut down all of these oaks. Perfect. So that's gonna be a lot of oaks. I'm actually gonna remove this Cutting area. I don't like it to go over the paths. It's totally not uh, important for the gameplay. The game will function even if you have the cutting area on the paths. I just, you know, I just don't like it. So that's what we're going to do. But anyway, as I was saying, so if you want to think about like tech levels, essentially, the first major like tech level that you're going to need to advance to in Timberborn is getting wood planks. So like planed timber. Um, and you can see that like all of our early game stuff, so like if we go into storage, this all just is built with logs. But as we go into later stuff, like the first thing that we're gonna want to get in the, in the wood tab is a forester so that we can actually plant trees for harvesting down the line. This needs seven planks. You can see that right there. So we're gonna need to get an industrial lumber mill and in order to do that, we're gonna need power. And this is where this kind of gets interesting. So to get power, if we go into our power tab, we've got a couple options. So we've got a compact water wheel, which is just a little little water wheel. It doesn't produce a ton of power, if we're being honest. Um, but then we've also got the large water wheel, which we don't have unlocked yet. And then we have a large power wheel, which will produce 300 power if we have four beavers working on it. Um, and it's essentially, it just rotates and, and creates power. Now, the only issue with this is this takes a hundred logs, which is actually an extraordinary amount of logs when you think about it. So I might go with the small power wheel just because all we're trying to do is get an industrial lumber mill up and running, which takes 75 horsepower. So. In an ideal situation, the compact water wheel would generate 60 horsepower each. We do not have the water flow to accomplish that, unfortunately. Um, now, potentially later down the line, we could, you know, we could channel some of this water, get it into a narrower, um, a narrower point, which would hopefully allow us to generate a little bit more power. But as it stands right now, we're we're just not gonna we're not gonna be there. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna build. I have a feeling that we're gonna need like three of them to get enough power. Um, in order to build those, we're gonna need we're gonna need stairs, and unfortunately, stairs are locked. Um, but let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get one of these. We'll go ahead and connect that up. So that will be connected to power. Um, 
So in order to get stairs, we're going to need some science. So if we go into our science tab, the only thing we have unlocked at the beginning of the game is the inventor's hut, which generates one science per hour. Um, and we're going to need, I'm thinking we're going to get like two of those. So let's get, let's get two of those. I'm going to build those first. So that'll be our, our highest priority here. I'm actually, I just realized that all of these are now operational. So why don't we pause all of these ones over here? So that gives us just one vacancy right now. Um, and I want our water, our water to be on the highest priority as well. Okay. So these can all get paused. There's no more wood to be harvested over here. So why don't we unpause these two so that we can get some more um, logs from over here. And then now our farmhouses are ready to go. So let's see, we're gonna get a storage here for the berries and then I can't fit in. Let's see, can I? So if we get a storage here, and then I could do two storages like that. So why don't we get a storage there, and then two storages there. So let's see, this will be for berries, and these two will be for kohlrabi. So that we can start to get some kohlrabi done up and let's uh let's put one of those on low priority these are going to be on the lowest priority these two science facilities um just so that we kind of dump our excess in, in there which i think will be good and there's not even enough to get this to spin really i find that very odd all right, well, let's pause that then. What are we gonna need? Okay, so we're gonna need one log and four planks. This takes 70 science, but if we're not getting any power here. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so then let's, uh, let's, I guess we're gonna, yeah, let's just, Let's get rid of all that. Come over here and pick up all these resources. Uh, and we're going to have to think about a different way to do this. Because if we're not going to be able to get that spinning right off the bat, then we're not going to have any power to, uh, to make even a single, to make enough planks to put the stairs down. So we're going to need, we're going to need a, uh, one of these large power wheels. Okay. So we have a drought approaching. This is our first one. Which is, which is good. Okay, so let's put these on high priority, our kohlrabi. Um, because I want to get enough kohlrabi that they don't eat the berries. I know that that sounds kind of funny, but it's just the way that it's going to be. Let's plant a little bit more. Okay, and then I think we could also get away with a couple more water storages. I might even, I might even do two more. So that we can just get tons of water. Tons of water. That'll be good. Alright. So now we need to we need to kind of think about this. So where do we want to build a little industrial area? Um I'm kind of thinking we're gonna we're gonna build it right over here, where it was actually where where I deleted it. Um so let's go ahead and do that. So if that's going to be there, we're going to need one of these. And this is just going to provide so much, so much more power than we need. I guess we could delete it um, down the line if that's what we want to do. Yeah, so let's get, let's get these built. That's going to take four beavers, man. Okay. That will be okay. All right, so those are up and running. I just realized we have no logs coming in, um, which is going to be an issue. So why don't we get, why don't we get a couple of these opened back up so we can start to harvest up here again. 
And now we have five vacancies, five jobs. So we only have one builder and then our two science facilities. Um, we could actually pause this, so that'll save us two because the there's no power coming to the industrial mill right now. Um, and then let's see, we got four farmers. Yeah, that's probably good. Two water pumps, that's probably too much, but with a drought coming in, I don't really want to slow it down right now. Um, so we're really just we're really just relying on these three children that we have uh, produced from our breeding pods to arrive as adults, to become adults, which will be good. Okay, we are getting a fair stockpile of berries, which I think is good. Um, but yeah, not getting any science is going to be a bit of an issue, I would think. But that's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Okay, so four vacancies still. So that's two builders. Um, I think we'll, we'll open these up just so we can get these logs really quickly. Okay, so now as this drought is coming in, this is going to show something that's kind of interesting about this, uh, about this map. So the drought is starting, which means that these water um, producers, as you can see, are going to cut off. But it's actually going to take quite a while for this water to make its way all the way down to us. So we don't need to turn these pumps off just yet. Um, I think we'll just kind of keep an eye on this water flow. And as we start to see that drying up, that'll kind of be our cue to start taking a look here at, uh, at this water flow to uh, cut off our water pumps. But we actually we have a ton of water, um, truthfully, which is pretty good. I mean, we could probably get away with turning these off now and be just fine. So why don't we do that? Turn these off, this water. Yep, it's making its way down to us now. So we will uh, we'll hold on to that. And there it goes. But you can see why it's so important to get this dam going. Because now we can continue to farm from this space. And uh, just won't be an issue very much at all. We're still not getting science, which is a bit concerning. So with that being, okay, so we can pause both of these. There's no trees over here to grab, which will give us at least one science going. So why don't we grab our wooden stairs? I think we'll be really going to need the no, I think we're going to go with the Forester first. So we have 60 Science, so let's unlock the Forester. And the Forester allows you, if you go into your plant trees and bushes, it allows you to plant anything in here. So it allows you to plant blueberries, which is going to be good, because remember, we need blueberries for our reproduction as the, um, as the Iron Teeth. Coffee bushes, which is cool. That's a new ad. Um, I've never actually done coffee, so I'm excited for it. Uh, birch which grow really quickly, but only produce one log. Pine, which grow moderately quickly, produce two logs, but also produce um, pine resin. Mangrove, which produce food. I believe these have to be, yeah, partially submerged in water. And then oaks, uh, which are the big, the big tree, I guess, if you want to think about it like that. But anyway, so we're gonna to wanna to maintain a blueberry uh, facility down here so if we put it right here on the corner you can see that it just gets to that corner so I think we'll put it we'll put our first farmhouse right here and that'll be good now that's gonna need planks which means that we're gonna need to get this up and running and I wonder if we drop this down to two. Will that give us enough power to operate this uh, this lumber mill? I think it will, um, but we'll just have to see. We will just have to see. And our water is coming back down because the drought ended, but again, it's gonna take a while to get down to us. Um, and actually a little bit overflowed right here, which is kind of funny. How did we do for water during that drought? Totally fine. 
Like, not even, not even an issue. Um, so I think we'll get one water pump back up and running for now. Let's see how much power this is producing. 150. So I wonder if we go... Yep, so if we go back down, that'll produce 75, which is exactly how much that needs. That's actually, it's actually not a bad, not a bad deal. Um, I could probably lay this out better if I want to maintain that working wheel. But we will see. Okay, so our first route is over. Um, hopefully, this is going to start to produce some planks. Although it doesn't look like it, so maybe... Maybe this uh, this turn, this next day, it'll start to produce some planks. Oh, it's not going to because we have no wood. Okay. That's what it is. All right, so let's get... Let's get some wood produced over here. So we're going to need to cut down some of these trees. And then inevitably, we're going to come over here and we're also going to cut down some of these birches. So why don't we just go ahead and get that ready. So we can cut down a load of these birches, like that, and that'll be good. Um, and then let's actually pause those. We just don't have enough workers to uh, to be doing this quite yet. Okay, so let's unmark this cutting area for now, um, and let's give this guy some stuff to plant. So first thing that we want to plant, blueberries. So we're going to plant blueberries all in here. Um, and is this going to be enough kohlrabi for now? I think it is. So what we're going to do, let's get rid of these and these. Yes, yeah, so we're going to clear out all of those, all of those resources. And I'm actually going to put these on. I don't know if we have other stuff queued up to build. I don't think we do. Um, but okay. So we've got this guy, this uh, forester, up and running. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of these. We're going to run a path down here. We only have one builder, which is not the best. Um, but now that we have a, actually a stock of planks, we're going to pause both of those. Just to free up a couple workers, which will be good. So now let's run this path down here. This is not necessary what I'm what I'm doing right now I like to separate the things that I grow um, with paths it again it's it's totally not necessary I just like to do it so we're gonna get this whole area planted with blueberries this will be our kohlrabi area um, and we could actually take our kohlrabi right down to the right down to the shore and then we'll go ahead and put a path in here just to separate it I think that that looks nice Okay, and now we're gonna need to get some trees planted. So what I like to do, I like to start off with some pines. So if we get some pines in here, let's see, I'm gonna actually get rid of these two. So this will be our, our pine area. And I think, I don't know. We'll have to see if that works. I don't know if this back one's going to get planted. It also doesn't look like this front one is going to get planted. Um, but that's okay, because what we could put in here in this single space, if we go into well-being, we can get a grindstone. And that'll sit right in there very nicely. So grindstones are good, because as your beavers cut down logs, um, they will... Inevitably chip teeth, and I'm actually going to... I want to see if this back one's going to get planted or not. I don't know if it will. Um, but either way, um, we will we will see if it does. I don't think it will. It doesn't look like there's any green back here. Yeah. Alright, so that's not going to get planted, but... Uh, will it? I don't know. Because the way that the game works, if there's any green on a tile, in theory, it will get planted. So I'm just going to leave that, and let's let's see if it gets planted. All right. Yes, it will. Awesome. I just like that for uh, for this for the symmetry of it. So this is going to be our pine area. Pines are going to be good um, early in the game. 
and then I'm gonna put a put a path in here to kind of separate and then we're gonna continue to run this path up here I don't I'm not sure I don't think it'll actually need to go all the way up there so let's go ahead and let's take out that path I think this will be far enough yeah so we're gonna put two in there and then I'm also gonna delete this path and then we can put another grindstone in right there. I think that'll be good. But okay, how far are these pines? Yeah, I'll I'll let them I'll let them go. I'll let them continue to do their thing. That'll be good. And then we can go ahead and pause these. So this will be our pine area to start, and then this area will all be um, oaks. So. I'm actually going to ask them to remove that pine just so we can get some oaks planted. It looks like I can go one more, one more over. Like that. And that should all be plantable. Okay. Perfect. So that's good. I'm going to have this guy focus on the oak, get the oaks planted, because he's already got some pines planted, which is good. Um, perfect. Okay, so we have some planks, which is good. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to get some stairs. Let's see, we're going to need stairs. Nope, not enough science. Yep, that makes sense. Although we do have our science up and running, which is good. Um... Because we're gonna want, I'm gonna want to get. I just don't know if we're gonna get any power out of these. This might be a total fail. But what I'm essentially gonna do is I'm going to put platform in here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and build a little water wheel area in here, just because I don't want to always have beavers have to be working over here in order to uh, in order to keep this stuff running. But then again, we we might not really have a choice on. I'm not sure. Um, and then I'd also like to get another forester so that we can plant trees up here and over here. Now, what that's going to mean is that we're going to need to put dams in up here. So why don't we get why don't we get working on that? We are going to need the levee. Uh, do I want to wait for the levee to do this? Kind of do. I kind of do. Um, so what can I pause? Let's see. So he's out here. He's planting. Um, we've got a full stock of berries. So we could probably pause our gatherer. Get another scientist going. Yeah, that'll be good. Because we're going to need a dam here. And we're also going to need a dam over here. Um, this one is going to be kind of interesting to build. I mean, as is this one for that matter. I mean, this one's going to be easy, but then getting them over here, we're really going to need platforms. So much stuff that we need to unlock. So much stuff. All right, I'm going to delete one of these um, so that we can get another scientist built. I think that that'll be good. I'm going to put that on lowest priority. So all three of those are now on lowest priority. We should get tons of science now. All right, so let's get platforms. Where do I want stairs? Let's get stairs unlocked. Um, no, I, I don't want them there. Um, I mean, I guess they could go there. No, I'm going to put them on the back side of this dam. It's just right there. So we'll get stairs built there. Um, and then we're going to need platforms and levees. So that's 120 science and the platforms are 100. So we're going to need 220 science. We should be able to get that going. Um, I just realized that we had a unemployed beaver. So might as well get a lumberjack flag up and running. And now we've got three scientists still. And we should get plenty of science going. Um, although... I've noticed that our water is actually trending down.
downwards. Um, so we might want to open up. Once once he's done, here, we'll open up a, a water pump to get water going. And then once he's done cutting down this last tree, we will uh, we'll go ahead and pause this lumberjack. There we go. Okay. So now we've got our three scientists rocking. We're doing good. Our population is trending up, which is really good. Um, and then, let's see, I actually might come through here. I'm gonna mark these three trees to be cut down. So let's get rid of those because what I wanna do is I wanna move our log storage um, up here. So if we put that in there, that'll be for logs. We can get that built and then put a path in here. So once we get that built, I'm actually gonna set this to, no, I'll, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. All right, so we can get platforms, which is good. Uh, we could also get, we could also wait just a couple seconds and actually get levees, which I think will be better. So let's get the levees and let's not build them there. We actually have a drought incoming, so I'm curious to see if we can get this done. My guess is no. So I'm gonna put a levee in there and in there, and then we're going to put dams in here, like that. And then I guess we could put stairs up there. And then we could actually get rid of that path. And that would actually give us another spot to plant a pine tree. All right, let's open up this lumberjack again so we can get these pines. I just want to get these pines out of here. The, uh, the trees will actually naturally reproduce on their own um, if they are on fertile ground as you cut them down. However, it will not keep up with um, oh and I guess I guess doing that actually killed that last tree over there okay so in that case what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple levees there and then we're actually going to need to put that path back in because I killed that tree in the corner so let's get that connected up and then I'm actually going to mark this for destruction. And I wonder, did that bring us over there? I don't know. We'll have to see. I kind of want to get... Let's get this built. That section. And I'd like them to pick these logs back up. Which they are. And you know what? I'm actually... Let's get rid of all of that. I want to do this a little bit differently. Let's come through here. Um, I kind of want to... I kind of want to stretch this out a little bit. Alright. Let's get rid of all of that. Um, unfortunately, they're not going to be able to come and get those logs with what I'm planning. Um, what we're essentially going to do is we're going to do a couple levees like that. And then a couple levees like that. Let's get rid of these. And then this will be our dam. And that'll actually hold a little bit of water. Do something like that. Okay, so we're definitely not going to get that done um, by the time this drought happened, because it already happened. We're also not going to get that done in this episode. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed this uh, first episode of this new series, please leave a like and a comment. I'm really going to try and get these out at a good at a good pace here. Now that I'm back. Um, 
and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you don't mind seeing my, my videos in your feed constantly, I would really appreciate it. It really helps with the um, visibility of the videos on YouTube, really helps with that algorithm. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would help me out. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. I'm actually going to pause these before I forget. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.